So the program I use is called Paint Shop Pro 4. This woman was born in 1916 and uh, the picture is damaged. So something I plan on doing is uh, before I colorize this picture I'm going to repair the damage. See this damaged part right here? So I'm going to go and get my cloning tool. Okay, I'm going to pick up some area from here and simply paint it there like that. And wherever the X goes the cloning tool goes. Next, she's got a little damage on her forehead, so I'm also going to fix that. I'm going to pick up some of her forehead here and paste it there. Okay? And now, it's repaired. It's time to colorize this picture. However, the picture is tainted because it's old. So, uh, the photo was shot in color, but I'm going to change it from color to grayscale. And... Now there's grayscale. I'm going to change it back to color so I can color anything I want. So I'm going to go to color, increase color depth to 16 million colors. So it's still a black and white picture. It's just that if I want to, I have 16 million colors that I can make an adjustment to. Now, before I uh, color this woman's clothing and the rest of her, I don't like the background of this picture. So what I'd like to do is... I'd like to take uh, her image. I'm also going to copy that. This is kind of a rough copy. And um, what I plan on doing is, uh, if I can get a fully copy. Okay, so I'm going to take her picture. Let's see, edit, copy. Okay, and now I'm going to paste her onto this picture right here. Edit, paste. There's a new selection. And now, look at this woman with a very beautiful sky in the background. I bastardized this a little bit so I can uh, fix the sky by doing more cloning. Over here where I just didn't do everything I'd like to do, you know, I could fill it in something like that and, you know, fix some of the spots that, uh, that I messed up. I'm going to color her clothing. So, I'm going to take this, I'm going to turn this garment that she's wearing, I'm going to outline it. Okay. And I'm going to take the garment and I prefer to make the color of this garment green. I'm going to go up here where it says colors, adjust red, blue, green. And I'm going to make the green 64. Okay. And the other colors are zero. Zero. Okay. And I'm going to press OK. And look at that. She has a beautiful green outfit. Uh, I'd like for her to have red lipstick. So, of course, you'll have to be a little more careful in doing this. So I'm going to take her, uh, her lips. Okay, and I'm going to outline them, and I'm going to go back to colors, adjust, red, blue, green. We don't want green lips, we want red lips, so I'm going to make that zero, and I'm going to make the lips red. I'm going to go with uh, 50, okay, but... I don't know, let's see what the heck that looks like. Um, gee, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so there she is. So, uh, this looks a little bit different. Uh, this is a picture I actually did where I uh, color the facial tones and I made the hair. When you go to colors and you go to red, blue, green, if you want to, if you want to know uh, how to pick these percentages, you simply go and you look at your, uh, your color uh, bar here. So let's say you want to make something orange, okay? It's mostly red, it's half of that is green, half of that is, and a quarter of that is blue. And that's how you get the color orange. Or you can mess around with this tool a little bit here and, you know, change it to whatever skin color you'd like. And, uh, and that particular is finished, picture is finished. Uh, 
we fixed uh, some mocks we colorized the person uh, this picture took me about half an hour to do this picture took a lot longer uh, is the original picture and uh, this one took me all day I pasted the sky in the background and I colored everybody's clothing